Hey guys, how you doing? Today I got a tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to make that dreamy glow effect in your photos using Photoshop. Now you may have heard of mist filters or black pro mist filters that you screw onto your lens to get that soft dreamy look. But if you don't have these filters like I do, I do not own any of these filters. I'm going to show you how to replicate that same kind of look inside of Photoshop. Now before we jump into Photoshop, I just want to say hi to all my new subscribers. Since my last video, I finally reached 1000 subscribers. Yeah. So thank you to everyone that has been here since the beginning of my channel and to the new people that just came in. Well, welcome. Hi, my name is Youssef. And if you're into filmmaking, photography, cameras, tutorials, travels, any of that stuff, maybe you can subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. So the reason why I like to do this effect is because it removes that harsh and over sharpened look that most of the cameras and lenses give us these days. So instead, it adds a beautiful, dreamy, soft look that you won't get enough of. Plus, it works on every kind of photos from landscapes to street photography to portraits. Any kind of photos, you'll be served with this beautiful effect that I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so now we're in Photoshop. What you want to do is press Command J to duplicate that layer. Click on the layer, click on Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Usually I will keep the pixels at 19. Click OK. Go in the blending modes right here. Select screen and boom. Wow, that's intense. So <laughs> you go on image right here, apply image, make sure all these settings are the same as, as me. Click OK. And there you go. You can leave it like that. And what I like about this technique is, is that you can lower the opacity right here. So if you would like to reduce this effect, just lower the opacity to like maybe uh, maybe this one is going to be 70%. And this is what you end up with. If I remove the effect, this is what I started with. You see her face. This is, this is a picture I took, by the way, on an event in Montreal. It's a beautiful model that I took in picture. And you can see her skin is like, it's not soft. And the highlights are not bloomed or anything. It's really a sharp image. So if you want to bloom the highlights, give it that dreamy look. Well, apply that effect that I just did. And let me show you. Boom, there you go. You see her skin is now soft. The highlights are like bloomed and it's kind of giving us a dreamy look. It's really beautiful. I love this. Yeah, so before, after, I love it. So let me show you uh, on a different kind of picture. This is a landscape. I took this photo when I was in Canary Islands. If you want to see my video that I did, it's a travel video of Canary, Can Canary, Canary Islands. You can check my channel. It's a beautiful video I made. So same thing. You just click on the background, Control J to copy the layer, go on filter, blur, Gaussian blur, leave the radius at 19, click OK, change the blending mode to screen, go to image, apply image, click OK. And you see, I'm going to do something a little bit different on this picture. I'm going to double click on the layer and I'm going to remove some of these blooming in the shadows so the effect is only going to show in the highlights because i want the rocks to to stay sharp you see here you can see like the mask is kind of going away from the rocks at that point you just click alt on your keyboard to soften all of this i'm going to do the same thing on the underlying layer and soften everything so same thing like this is the before it's beautiful like that i love it but i think that like the the waves are over sharpened and it's missing something like a dreamy look and once you apply the effect boom and it maybe it's a little bit too intense like the the lighting is too intense in that case i will go to curves and i will lower the curve right here maybe just in the highlights like that so you see, you still get that dreamy look. And this is the before and the after. I really love that look. It's really special. I use it almost on all my photos ever since I, I got to know that effect, but don't overuse it also. Maybe bring it down a little bit. Oh yeah, one other thing that I want to show you, like this is beautiful and it's softening her skin also, but what you can do, what you can also do is Copy that layer again. Do the same same thing. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. But this time, click OK. But this time I'm going to change the blending mode to dark in color. So this looks really strange. Wait a minute. I'm going to apply the image. This looks really strange. I'm going to put it up here. 
but reduce the opacity to like 19. You see that way, what it does is that it's not blooming the highlights because I, cho uh, I chose a darker color. It's only softening her skin. So if I remove, this is, uh, I'm gonna name it Orton effect. So if I remove the Orton effect, you see, you don't get the blooming on the highlights anymore, but you get a softer image. So let me show you. If I remove, you see her skin is like way more softer. And maybe I can up the opacity a bit, like 30%, but it darkens the image. And if you apply the Orton effect, remember the Orton effect is bringing the highlights up. So it kind of counterbalances, but sometimes it's a little bit too much. So you can bring down the Orton effect and look at that, like with both effects on and with both effects off, you can see how much the, her skin is like really sharp. And if I apply both of the effects, wow. I love it. All right, so now that you have the knowledge to create that dreamy, magical look, it's time for you to go out there and experiment, take pictures and go into Photoshop and create that same look that I just showed you. Oh, by the way, I wanna see all of your creation. If you can, just uh, tag me on Instagram. If you used this kind of filter, my handle on Instagram, I'll be linking it right here. And if you find yourself using the Orton effect on every single photos, don't worry, I'm not judging. In fact, I'll probably do the same thing also. <laughs> so yeah, happy editing, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you again. And if you haven't already, and if you had some value out of this video, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like. <laughs> okay, bye.